Next question is from B. Balks. What is the best way to approach training obese clients? Yeah, okay, so uh, obese clients. So we're talking about people who are in that kind of clinically obese, but which, by the way, now is a, a pretty big percentage yeah, uh, 40 of, something percent. of the population now. But when you're training someone like this, uh, consider that the psychological piece is far more important than the mechanisms uh, that are involved with, uh, with weight loss. Okay, so obviously we know if they ate less and they moved more and they exercised that they would lose weight. That's obvious, but it's not even close to that easy. Okay. You're dealing with someone who you have to completely get them to change their relationship to food. They have to change their relationship to exercise and how they, how they are with their own body. That takes some time. So one of the first things I like to do is I like to, uh, I incorporate strength training and I tell them they're not going to lose any weight for at least a couple months. So for the first two months, we're not going to lose any weight. My goal with you is to strengthen your body and get your metabolism to speed up a little bit. And I know, and I know if you get stronger and your weight doesn't change, then we probably have lost some fat mm -hmm. and gained some muscle. Then when, when, when it comes to the diet, um, I like to try to add things before I take things out. Um, so, and why? Because it's different. It feels different. feels different to somebody to say, don't eat these anymore. Versus, hey, look, uh, don't change anything else. Just make sure that you eat 130 grams of protein every day. So make sure that you hit that first. If you hit that, I don't, I'm not, I don't care about anything else. But you know through doing that that that'll get them to naturally want to eat a little less anyway because of the, the satiety effects, for example, of protein. But, I mean, in a nutshell, it's a very slow, measured approach. It's not the, we're going to get this weight off you because that's what you hired me for type of deal because you will fail in the long run. I mean, that's pretty much exactly how probably all of us go towards it. I'll add yeah. one thing uh, on the exercise portion because when they would be with me, the goal was that I'm going to strength train. like so. And strength mm -hmm. training, by the way, uh, for this person could look vastly different, right? So uh, sometimes strength training was holding their hand and then getting standing up and sitting down on a chair. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I've also had obese clients that could still put a barbell on their back and actually get a pretty decent squat. Mm -hmm. So depending on where, I'm going to meet them wherever their level is for strength training and that we're going to primarily focus on strength training with me. Then this is where, and I think I brought this up a long time ago on the show, um, I used to get these uh, colored dots and I, a client like this, I used to love to do this, where I'd, I'd put them, have them put it sporadically through the house, on the refrigerator, maybe on their bathroom mirror, maybe by the TV. And when they saw this, I would get, the, they would do something. And every client was different, unique. What, what, sometimes it was mobility work. Sometimes it was body weight squats. Sometimes it was a sit up or whatever. But I'd have like little things that are just 10, 10 sets or 10, or excuse me, 10 reps of something just to keep them moving. And trying to implement just more movement in their like a day. little reminder. Yeah, just a little reminder. When you see that dot, go do this. If you yeah. see that dot, go mm -hmm. do that. Or, you know, encouraging them to walk more and move more. Normally, people mm -hmm. that are in this obese category, depending how far we're talking, like if we're going all the way to morbidly obese, they're extremely sedentary. And mm -hmm. so yeah. I just want to find little ways that I can create more and not extreme ways, not biggest loser style, mm -hmm. not let's go to boot camp and get the ropes out and do crazy shit. No, things that I know that they'll continue on forever. Just saying, Hey, this is what you'd normally do at this time. Let's add this. Yeah. And no, get I love that. I, I, I completely did the same thing, but I didn't have like a system like that, which I think that's, you know, that's really smart. Uh, it was always just like what they could do, uh, you, you know, after the shower, what they could do while they have the TV on instead of sitting down. It, like just trying to address a lot of like normal tendencies and patterns that, you know, they usually are doing or like they're going out to get food or like what that looks like, how they could, you know, get more involved when actually mm -hmm. making it at home. And so I spent a lot more time actually going to the grocery stores with them and walking through and, you know, really like figuring out like what what type of decisions they were they were making and then how we could just you know modify one thing within that same mindset so. yeah you have to appreciate that you're what you're the person what you're asking the person to do is to change their life this is not a, i don't mean that in in the lightest at all right the reason why somebody's obese is because of their life that doesn't that's just not the time they spend with you that's everything right it's just how they are in the way that they live you're asking this person to completely change that. That's what it would require for them to go from obese to lean. And so this is no small task. Anybody watching this right now, change your life completely and then make it stick forever. Yeah, That's a very difficult thing to do. I don't care what it is you're asking yourself to do. 
So this is a very slow process you need to appreciate. And then I want to go back to the, the you know, what we've talked about with resistance training in regards to obese individuals. There's this myth that obese individuals have a lot of muscle and that they just need to do cardio. I don't need to get bigger. Look how big I am. Lift weights. No, no, no. Studies are clear on this. Obese individuals have low muscle mass. They actually have very little muscle. They're actually underneath frail. In fact, osteopenia, bone loss, is more common in the obese, even though they're heavy. So there's this myth that, no, don't lift weights because you're not trying to get big. You already probably have a lot of math. I've seen people say this, like, oh, I don't need to build. I mean, yeah, you, can see that. That I'm, you can see that I'm thick. The truth is, these days, because we're so sedentary, everybody has low muscle mass, and people who are obese – especially when they start to develop insulin resistance, their body actually starts to get even weaker and they start to lose even more muscle. So yeah. the truth is strength- it's more pain and more problems. That's right. Strengthen their bodies, build some muscle, and that'll pay them dividends.